welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.65 and the statement of our question is let x represent the number that occurs when a red die okay red die is tossed and y the number that occurs when a green die is tossed find part a expected value of x plus y b expected value of x minus y and c expected value of x y so here we have two dice one is red and the other one is green so uh, let me first draw here the red one okay so this is the red one while this one is the green one i have represented them with the uh, different colors or shaded them why did i draw them because i have to show them that when it is tossed the number of items or the dots will show here will be independent of the number of dots will be shown here okay so here x represents the number that occurs when a red die is tossed so this is x and here we will have y okay so this will be for the red one or let me represent it with red and this one with green okay so we had here we have x and y and both of these are basically independent of each other so therefore here e of x plus y will be equal to e of x plus e of y okay because these two are independent of each other similarly here we can also see that as both are the dices so therefore the expected value of x will be equal to the expected value of y okay but what is basically the expected value of x what is this equal to this will be the random variable okay which will occur here and that is basically the dot multiplied by the probability of the item which will occur here okay so this p of x here we can see that this is what this is the probability and in order to draw it let's we draw them here this is what here we have p of x and this is x okay so this is basically here one two three four five six okay so all of these items are basically equal probable so therefore the probability of each item here is one by six okay so therefore this is what this is basically the case of the uniform probability distribution similarly for y we can very easily see that it is the similar one because both are pair dices and these are here this will be p of y and here we will have y so it will be here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so it each and every item here will have the similar probability it will be 1 by 6 okay i have uh, made a minor mistake here it will basically start from here let me remove it okay so it will be from okay so this is what these are basically the probabilities we we have and here we have all of them so now here the probability of x is equal to the probability of any item here and that is 1 by 6 why because the probability of 1 will be equal to 1 by 6 probability of 2 or the occurrence of 2 here will be 1 by 6 until and unless i will have the probability of 6 and that would be 1 by 6 as well okay so here this formula will become what here all the values of x will start from 1 up to 6 and it will be x multiplied by the p of x okay so let me write them all together here so the p of x is what this is here 1 by 6 okay so 
let me write them all here it would become 1 multiplied by 1 by 6 plus 2 multiplied by 1 by 6 this is what this 1 by 6 is p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 and all of them are given here and 3 multiplied by 1 by 6 plus 4 multiplied by 1 by 6 plus 5 multiplied by 1 by 6 plus 6 multiplied by 1 by 6 okay so finding them all here first of all the lcm of it will be 6 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 so ultimately from here we will get 3.5 and this is what this is for the expected value of x okay and also if we find out it for the expected value of y it will be the similar one and it will also be equal to 3.5 okay we can also very easily see it from here and calculating it and also we can see that this dice is equal to this one so all the probability distribution on all the numbers will remain the same okay so uh, let us move to our question here so uh, part for part a it will become e of x plus e of y so it would be 3.5 plus 3.5 which will be equal to 7 and that is the solution for part a for part b let me solve it here for part b e of x minus y will be what it will be e of x minus e of y okay because both are independent of each other so here it would be 3.5 minus 3.5 which will be equal to 0 and the answer of part b is 0 okay this is for part a okay for part c we have here this is what this is basically again the two items are independent so therefore it will be e of x multiplied by e of y so it will be 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 so it would be 3.5 whole square which you can find very easily and that is what that is for the part c of my question okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution for question 4.65 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon